So welcome to my video on multiplying mixed numbers. Here we have 1 and 5 6 being multiplied with 4 and 1 half. And the first thing that we want to do, and I wrote this for you in green, is we want to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions, then we want to multiply. So let's start off by doing that. Let's convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. And we'll start off with 1 and 5 6. Let's convert this into an improper fraction. Since 1 and 5 6 has a 6 in the denominator, we know that our improper fraction is also going to have a 6 in our denominator. And in our numerator, the first thing we do is we multiply our 6 by the whole number of 1. And then we add all that to the numerator of 5. And this is all being multiplied with 4 and a half. So let's do the same thing with this mixed number. Let's convert 4 and a half into an improper fraction. Since our 4 and a half has a 2 in the denominator, our improper fraction is also going to have a 2 in the denominator. And in our numerator, we multiply the 2 by the whole number of 4. And then we add all that to our numerator of 1. So let's simplify these fractions as much as possible. In our first fraction, we have 6 times 1, which is just 6. And we still have to add the 5. And this is all over 6, multiplied by our second fraction, which has a 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And we still have to add our 1. And this is all over 2. And let's simplify this even further. In our first fraction, we have 6 plus 5, which is 11. And we still have a denominator of 6. And this is all being multiplied by our second fraction, which has an 8 plus 1 in our numerator, which is 9. And we still have a denominator of 2. So now, since we have two fractions being multiplied, the only thing we need to do is just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. But before I do that, I'm going to simplify. Because I notice in one of the diagonals, we have a 6 and a 9. And since a 6 and a 9 can both be divided by 3 evenly, I'm going to simplify this. If you divide the 9 by 3, 9 divided by 3 is just 3. And if you do something to the top, you have to do it to the bottom. So now I'm going to divide the 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3 is just 2. So now I'm just going to move this over so I have a little bit more space. So now I'm going to multiply these two fractions. Once again, I'm going to multiply my numerators and my denominators. In our numerator, we have 11 times 3. And in our denominator, we have 2 times 2. So in our numerator, we have 11 times 3, which is just 33. And in our denominator, we have 2 times 2, which is just 4. So now we have a final answer of 33 over 4. However, since we multiplied two mixed numbers, our final answer should also be in a mixed number. So I'm going to turn 33 over 4 into a mixed number. And this could be done by using long division. I'm going to divide 33 by 4. 4 goes into 33 8 times. 4 times 8 is 32. When you subtract 33 with 32, you have a remainder of 1. So since 4 goes into 33 8 times, we're going to have a whole number of 8. Since we have 1 left over in our remainder, we're going to have 1 in our numerator. And our denominator stays the same. Since we have a 4 in our fraction, we're also going to have a 4 in our mixed number. So 33 over 4 is exactly the same as 8 and 1 fourth, and this is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.